ex-prosecutor who resigned from Trump-Russia probe nears Hartford, Connecticut. AP, a former federal prosecutor who helped investigate the origins of the Trump-Russia probe in 2020 before abruptly leaving the Justice Department moved closer on Tuesday to being confirmed as the newest member of Connecticut's state Supreme Court. Nora Danahy, who also served from 2008 to 2010 as the first woman U.S. attorney for the District of Connecticut, cleared the state Senate by a 31-2 vote. Her nomination now moves to the House of Representatives for an expected vote later in the day. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than Danahy, a 62-year-old Connecticut native, spoke publicly for the first time during her confirmation hearing about why she left the federal investigation. That probe looked into how the FBI and other federal agencies set out to investigate Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election and whether the campaign of former President Donald Trump had coordinated with the Kremlin. Danahy told state lawmakers at the hearing that she was concerned with then-Attorney General William Barr's public comments about the Trump-Russia case and because she strongly disagreed with a draft of an interim report he considered releasing before the 2020 presidential election. Time equals 400 Ms. Greater than I had been taught and spent my entire career at Department of Justice conducting any investigation in an objective and apolitical manner, she said. In the spring and summer of 2020, I had growing concerns that this Russia investigation was not being conducted in that way. She continued, Attorney General Barr began to speak more publicly and specifically about the ongoing criminal investigation. I thought these public comments violated DOJ guidelines. Former Connecticut U.S. Attorney Nora Danahy appears at her Wednesday, September 20, 2023, confirmation hearing on her nomination to the Connecticut State Supreme Court at the Connecticut Legislative Office. Building in Hartford, Connecticut, Danahy told state lawmakers she resigned from the Trump-Russia probe because of her concerns with public comments made by then-U.S. Attorney General William Barr. AP Photo, Susan Hay, both Democrats and Republicans on Tuesday lauded Danahy for her range of experience. She has had stints as a Connecticut Deputy Attorney General, Associate General Counsel for Global Ethics and Compliance with United Technologies Corporation, and Chief Legal Counsel for Democratic Governor Lamont, who nominated Danahy to the state's highest court. I think she'll be a fabulous addition, said State Senator John Kissel, the top Republican on the General Assembly's Judiciary Committee, crediting her having the moral compass as well as the intellectual gravitas and wealth of knowledge to do the job. Kissel said Danahy doesn't seem the least bit predisposed, one way or another, crediting her with the ability to make fair and even-handed decisions, without the influence of partisan politics, former Connecticut. U.S. Attorney, Nora Danahy speaks with Bridgeport State Representative Stephen Staffstrom before her Wednesday, September 20, 2023, confirmation hearing and her nomination to the Connecticut State Supreme Court at the Legislative Office Building in Hartford, Connecticut. Danahy later told state lawmakers she resigned from the Trump-Russia probe because of her concerns with public comments made by then-U.S. Attorney General William Barr. AP Photo, Susan Hay.